Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to all my lovely regular viewers and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So just a video to swatch the items that I got be above and just to let you see what they're like. So I am going to go ahead and do some swatches of these new unbelievable gels. So they, I'm just going to read out some of the things that it says. So it is... For use on artificial nails only, so you can't use this as a gel polish. So what I think this is, it actually cures um, almost like a hard gel, so that um, there's no flexibility with it. Because there, are, I do have some other gel paints that you can't use on the natural nail. Um, I think because they, they would just tend to crack. So I definitely think this is what um, will happen with these. So it is can also double up as a gel paint for detailed artwork. Um, so you can put it over your acrylics or your hard gels. You just can't put it on the natural nail as a gel polish. So I've only just got a few of them. Um, I think there's seven here. Um, I just wanted to try. I've got so many different gel paints um, that I absolutely love, but I just, whenever Glitter Bells brought this out, because you all know how much I absolutely love Glitter Bells, and I just had to try them. So they, um, it does also say here that it has no tacky layer. So the Brill Bird ones that I have, let me just get these up. So the Brill Bird um, gel paints that I have as well, they also don't have a tacky layer um, if you fully cure them. So what I normally do if I'm going to be using any pigments or anything, I would just cure it for about five, maybe ten seconds. And that way it's got a really, really... Um, it's just coming to the point of curing, but it still has that little tacky layer for the pigments to stick to. So I am a neat freak and um, I I hate it whenever like things sort of spill over, especially gels. So I have popped on my little um, colours so that I don't have to turn them upside down because modern ones don't do it, which is really, really surprising for a cheaper brand. But they put all the colours on top where a lot of others like this one. These ones are quite thick, so it doesn't really get enough time to, you know, like fall about everywhere um, and just sort of spill into the lid. Um, so yeah, an awful lot of the other ones, they have them on the bottom, but Glitter Bells, they also have them on the bottom. I'm not going to tip them up because I have them all opened and it's a very, very thin gel, which, you know, can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. But yes, definitely, um, I'm going to keep them flat. And that's why I put the label on to the top of the lid. So the likes of my colours. So these are some new um, acrylic colours that I got in as well. So I'll do some swatches of those. So I lay them in my drawer like this. So I have put the, um, the name across the lid here. But then um, my core powders they sit up so again I put them on top of the lid yes I'm just a freak I hate things that aren't organized so let's get on to doing this um these swatches so this is luscious lilac I just want to show you how thin this is so with any gel paints and that you do need to stir them so look how thin that is so this is why I've put, oh, so these are actually quite thick, um, not quite thick, they're, um, they're quite full. So there's loads and loads and loads of gel in these pots, which is fantastic. It's absolutely amazing because let me, I just want to show you the difference between other brands. So Glitter Bells 100% is definitely the best value brand out there for um the amount of product that you get compared to the price it is 100 percent the best value so this is let me see how many grams this is does it say let me see i don't think it actually says does it say it on the bottom no it doesn't say anything but i can by dipping my little spatula in, I can see exactly, you know, how deep this little pot is. So this is a Brill Bird one. As much as I love Brill Bird, they're kind of stingy with their products. So this is their Lilac. I absolutely love this one as well. Um, so it's a little bit deeper than the 
um, glitter bells one but so that is how deep that part is now let's see how deep the glitter bells one is look at the difference so yeah 100% glitter bells is the best value right let me just set this over here another thing I hate about working with gels is they're sticky and they can get everywhere so as you can see that was before I started doing the um, the names on top because that one went absolutely everywhere okay so luscious lilac where is my little brush here it is so this is a little um, gel polish or gel paint brush that I use it's actually from OPI it's their artist series and it is 100% Kolinsky I don't know if they do them anymore but I will find out because I definitely want to get more of them okay so they do say that you can do this in one coat that you don't need two coats so let's just see and then I will do a video later um, obviously using these for some nail art so it does spread pretty well okay I'm going to cover it up I'm going to flash cure this for like 10 seconds just to see if um, it does have a tacky layer at 10 seconds and when the tacky layer actually kicks in because this will be good to know for whenever I'm doing any pigment work with some of these colours. So that's 10 seconds. Yep, still has a tacky layer. So let's put it in again for 60 seconds. So I'm going to close it over. I, I think if I was doing this over acrylics on a client, I would probably do two coats. I just think one coat was just a little bit too thin. So this is Beautify. Again, you can just see, you know, how much product is in those little tubes or tubes, these little jars or tubs, whatever way you want to call them. That one actually didn't need stirred up too much. So... I just clean my little brush and acetone in between. It would be so, so nice <clears throat> if Glitter Bells could bring out um, like matching products. You know, if they brought out, oh, I've got a little bit of fluff. If they brought out um, an acrylic and a gel polish and um, a gel paint all that match so this one here is definitely definitely gonna need more than one coat that's if you're doing a full color cover it's absolutely gorgeous I love it it's such a pretty color where is all this fluff coming from Yeah, that is definitely, definitely going to need two coats. Okay, I'm going to pop it in. So this is the other one. Yeah, so I cured that for the full 60 seconds and it's not tacky at all. So you probably wouldn't need to do a top coat or anything over it. Okay, second coat. So I just flash cured that first one. Yeah, so you can see definitely with the second coat, it just makes all the difference. I absolutely love this little gel brush. Look at that, isn't that so pretty? That is so, so nice. <laughs> Okay, let me pop it in here for 60 seconds and then I will not need to put a top coat on. Now, I'm going to be a real clean freak.
and I'm going to clean my lid. That's because I was bending it up to read the instructions. So yeah, if you're using um, your little pots and you're bending them up, before you put your um, your lids back on, just give them a little clean around the top of them. It will just make sure that none of the, the gel will start to get into the threads of the, the lids and then it will start to go everywhere. So that's Luscious, Luscious Lilac and Beautify that I've done. Let's clean my little brush in between. I just clean it in acetone. And just wipe it out. There we go. So I this is Blue Avenue. So I'm not going to stir this one. I'm going to see what it's like if it's not stirred. So you can see, um, probably like their acrylic powders as well, you can see some white in there. So they're obviously mixed with white as well. Do you know what? This one here, definitely you should only need one coat. It's so pigmented. It is just so pretty. So this is called Blue Avenue. I only got a few of them in just to try them first before I go and get any more of them. I always like to try things. And then I do these little swatch videos for you guys so that you can see what they're like before you buy them. Okay, so yeah, I definitely think one coat would be enough for that one. Well, let me pop that one in. So that was Blue Avenue. This is Karma. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Look, you can see just how that comes out onto the lids. And that literally is just moving it about. It really, look at that. It really is such a thin gel. So definitely, guys, if you are buying these and you're storing them, you want to make sure that you keep them really, really flat. And if you're bringing them into the salon and you've got other girls that are going to be using them, tell them just to try and keep them flat because the amount of product that's wasted whenever it gets into the lid I mean look how much product has just been wasted there did I sound like a skin flint there did I <laughs> so I mean look there's loads and loads of product I'm not even going to stir this one up either because I don't think it needs it so this is karma I believe they are all sold out on the website already. They all sold out the first day. So I was lucky enough to get some. I'm not sure when they'll be back in stock, but hopefully if you haven't got any, it won't be long. Fluff. I hate fluff when it gets onto your, your gels. That's so pretty. So pretty. Right, next one. So this is flawless. This is going this is another um pink. I think this one's like a really, really bright pink. Oh no, it's not. It's um what colour would that be like? Would that be like blossom? I think that's, that would be like blossom. <coughs> so again, it's um, quite pigmented. You'd probably get away with maybe one coat of this. Let me just see once I get it on. It's a gorgeous colour. It's a very, very popular colour. It's almost like, like a mauvey pink. So pretty. Sorry guys, you're gonna hear tractors going past. It is farming season and the farmers are so busy. How pretty is that? So that was flawless. I actually thought I'd got a bright pink, but maybe I was dreaming it. 
So I obviously with any gel paints, I always would order a black and a white because they're the ones that you use the most when you're doing nail art. So this is the white. Now, the white came packaged a little bit different. So the white came with just like paper lid where all the rest of them came with the silver. So I thought that was a little bit strange. Again, I am not going to stir this. I want to see what it's like. It looks quite pigmented. So what I've done is I've taken um, the white off this and I'm going to do um, the white on this with the pigment just to see what it's like. I'm um, just curing it for 10 seconds and then I'll put the pigment on just to see if it works. It should work because when I tested it there, it did, it still had a, a tacky layer on it. Because it does say to cure them for 60 seconds so I definitely think curing them for about 10 to 15 seconds will be enough. Right, I'm going to set that one there. In fact, do you know what? I can just put it right in because I'm going to do the test on my nails. So last but not least is black. It does look really, really black. It doesn't look like a wishy-washy black, which is good. Can't have wishy-washy black. one of the other gel um, paints that I use from Your Sugar, it's a Wishy Washy Black. So far, oh my goodness, that is so pigmented. Definitely 100% one coat of this is all you need for the black. Wow. And with the pots being so um, full, these colours are going to last for ages if you're going to use them for nail art. This is such great value. Because what were they? $8.95? Yeah. Wow. So pigmented. Love it. Right, let me get rid of this black. And then I will do the little test on my middle finger. So because I'm going from black to white, I want to make sure that it's completely out of my brush because I don't want to contaminate my white. There we go. So I'm going to need my striping brush. I'll go in with number three. Okay. And the white. Let me get my pigments. One and two. So that's them all cured. No tacky layers. Okay, so I always do like little dots of where my smile line is going to be. So far so good. And then I'm just going to fill the rest of it in with my little brush.
hasn't even gone on um you know the nails rather than those little um pops pop sticks it it goes on quite nice as well so i th i think you'd need two coats when it's on the nail because you don't want to put them on too thick because um, what happens when you put them on too thick they um, start to wrinkle and um, then they can just peel off the nails so that can be a bit annoying right. let me just clean this up make sure that it's not Okay, so I'm only literally going to put this in for 10 seconds. Okay, so 10 seconds. So also as well when you're using gels and you're working with your light, especially if you're doing your own nails, make sure that the pot isn't sitting in front of it. Okay, so that's 10 seconds. This is one of the easiest ombres. Honestly, it's so, so easy to do ombres like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of the excess and then do my top coat. Yep. So obviously, glitter bells. So you want to top coat twice. I'm only going to do it once just in this video, but um, you definitely want to do your pigments, top coat them twice, or um, you can put a layer of base coat over them and then do top coat over your, your base coat. And then that will make sure that they're not going to chip and peel. Also as well, if you're working with any kind of like gel paints over the nail plate, if you've really really buffed it and used your um your buffer and it's really really smooth you will need to apply a base coat before you put your um gel paint on because it will just peel off okay so i am going to cure that for 60 seconds and while i do that i am going to clean up So that is the Glitter Bells gels, which I absolutely love. I am going to do a video for you guys just to show you some nail art using those, um, just to see how easy they are to work with. So they're, they're pretty easy whenever you're painting them on. Um, yeah, so a lot of them, one coat will be enough. I got another new one um, of their gel polishes just, just 15 seconds and then I can take my hand out and show you. 
and I'll do the um, swatches of these just while I'm on. Yay, done. So, yep, yeah, all done. Let me close these up. Yes, yeah, so this is Crazy in Pink. You might have noticed as well, um, I buffed over the little colour pop sticks before I put the gel paint on. That is because it would just literally peel off if it wasn't. Okay. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is that? So I'm going to do it this way and then I'm not going to need a top coat. Yeah, so you can definitely see this one is more mauve and this one as well. This is like a really, really pale, pale mauve. So I'm going to cure this one for 60 seconds. Gorgeous. That is going to be such a pretty summer colour. So that is the colours that I got in the gel paints. The in unbelievable gel, I was about to say incredible gel, but unbelievable gel. So acrylic swatch time. So I just got a few ones. Um, Dusty Rose Cover is a new one with, for me, not a new one for Glitterbells. Creme Brulee, Pretty Pudding, Mango Fizz and Green Pastel. decant this into like a, a squeezy bottle because it's so much easier to get them out and sometimes these metal tins you know that glitter bells do once you get to the bottom of it around the top part it starts to go all black and not too nice but yeah so I normally just put it into one of these squeezy ones right so creme brulee I'll use a glitter bells brush because I'm, I'm doing glitter bells. I was going to use my size 16, but no, I'll use a glitter bells brush. So, creme brulee. like a really really gorgeous nude it's so pretty and it doesn't marble which is a big plus plus for me set it this way to cure because I'll probably it'll probably stick to my little kitchen towel if it cured the other way so this I'm gonna wait I'm gonna do the glitter at the end so this is pretty pudding so it's got a little bit of a, a shimmer to it That monomer that I got, it actually says it's the violet monomer, but it's not too violet. So I'm not sure whether um, maybe the clear has been put in by mistake. 
but sure the clear's very very similar to the violet anyway it's just um the violet if you're using white if you're doing french it just makes the white pop a wee bit more oh that's so pretty i don't know if you can see it but there is just a little subtle shimmer in that it's almost like do you know the um like the mermaid pigments you know the aurora pigment that you'd put over some of your um polishes your gel polishes that it's kind of like that look it's so pretty okay green pastel So I have the pink and the blue pastel, so I thought I'd try the green. And I have the lemon sorbet, which is very, very similar to a pastel anyway, so that'll be nice for a nice ombre. I find though, whenever you're working with the lighter colours, you kind of have to use quite a lot of them for the color to show through or work really really concentrated so that does marble a little bit do you see that hmm but that is green pastel pretty pretty so the last one of the colors is mango fizz Look at that. Oh my goodness. So pretty. I'm so used to working with my size 16 brush now. It's this these seem so small. So I find with these ones, you know, with all the little circles, you kind of, I well, I prefer to space them out a little bit. I just think you get a nicer, a nicer finish. But that is so pretty, look. You've got, some of them are iridescent, some of them are matte. So pretty. There's like some of them are sort of like pink shades as well. Can you see that? Pretty pretty. That'll be a popular one for the summer. Although I do find um you see the ones with the like the circles in that, you kind of need clients with long nails really to get the desired effect with them. I think you know if someone has really really short nails there's no point in putting glitter on that size because it just overpowers let me get another Oops. so last one is a dusty rose cover this is another core one um i hope it's not like cashmere cover that cures so quick so Please, please. Don't marble either. Please don't marble. It's quite dark, isn't it? It doesn't marble. And it doesn't seem to be curing too quick either, which is good. Although I am working fairly wet. Mm, a little bit of marbling, do you see that? But still a pretty colour. Yep, I'll give that a go on my nails. Let's clean my brush out before I put it away. Right. 
So that is my latest Little Glitter Bells haul. Um, I will get more of those little colours in. But yeah, I like them. Just remember guys though, they are really thin. Um, so they will spill about the pots. So just be aware of that. And that is the new acrylics that I got to. Little treat to me. So guys, I am going to go. I am going to do another video for you tomorrow using this hand. So I just thought I would show you the difference in the packaging and how I actually opened the gels just before I end the video. And there's another tractor. No. So as you can see, some of them came with the silver lid. So I just used my little um, craft knife and I just cut just around um, the perimeter of that um, gel. That sounded really, really technical there. But as you can see, the white came in like a paper. So it was a little bit harder to get off. And this is just the little stickers that I got just to um, name them. So as you can see, yeah, it's taken me a little bit of effort to get this off because I, I was poking and poking at it and I thought maybe that this um, little bit of card was just stuck to it and maybe that the silver was in underneath. And then I just sort of thought, no, do you know what? I'm just gonna open it up exactly the way I opened the rest of them. And yes, it was just done with paper. It wasn't done with the silver. So I don't know if the white comes separate. If you have the white and it came with the silver, let me know just to, um, <laughs> just to keep my own sanity, just to know that it's not just me. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, why not help support it by hitting that little subscription um, button and also hit the notification bell and you'll not miss any more of my videos. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I have a huge range of videos for beginner right through to advanced and loads and loads of nail art. So I will be back with another video, guys. So take care. See you soon. Bye.